So students also have this confusion where short tricks will help them or distract them in solving the DILR set. Okay. See, short tricks in DILR, there are hardly any short tricks like you have in quant that, you know, there is four steps of solving, which is substituted by a formula. So you apply that formula and you get a solution. In DILR, you will most of the times not get one such shortcut. So how to create those, you know, where to take shortcuts and where to be careful. Remember this golden rule. Whenever you are analyzing, reading an information, whether a DI set, set you're trying to understand the given data, no shortcuts. Do not rush because the understanding or misunderstanding, everything is going to multiply four or five times when you solve questions. Right? But when you're solving the question and let's say you're willing to calculate something, that's the time you can apply a shortcut. Take a shortcut because uska implication sirf ek question par hoga. If at all you go wrong on it. But the common understanding of the data set or of the LR set, right? Never get into trap of using shortcuts there.